tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal. After watching this video, you will be able to describe opioid tolerance, identify common symptoms of withdrawal, and explain the transition of motivation to avoiding withdrawal. Both prescription and illicit opioids can result in the body building a tolerance to the substance. Essentially, more of the opioid is needed for the same effect. If you're prescribed an opioid for pain, you may need to increase your dose to have the same amount of pain relief as you initially experienced. This is due to the body developing a physical dependency on the opioid. For those using substances for non-pain relief, more of the opioid is needed to experience the same level of euphoria. As a result, what used to relieve pain and cause euphoria now just keeps the individual at a baseline. To exceed the baseline and have the positive effects, more of the opioid is needed. If the body dips below its baseline, withdrawal begins. Withdrawal is when the body lacks the opioids it has become dependent upon and causes a physical response. Opioid withdrawal is an extremely unpleasant experience that includes nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, diarrhea, restlessness, anxiety, and depression. Frequency, duration, and amount used all impact the withdrawal experience. Withdrawal symptoms can last for days, weeks, and in some cases, such as with methadone withdrawal, months. Typically, withdrawal sets in 6 to 12 hours post-use for short-acting opioids and 30 hours post-use for long-acting opioids. Symptoms usually peak around 72 hours after the last use. Given the tendency for polysubstance use, which is using more than one substance at the same time, it's important to understand that benzodiazepines and alcohol, which are commonly used concurrently with opioids, are the only two substances in which withdrawal can be fatal. When someone is experiencing opioid withdrawal, they should be screened for additional substance use and potential withdrawal, as this can complicate their withdrawal process and, in the case of alcohol and benzodiazepine withdrawal, potentially be fatal. Although a person cannot die as a result of opioid withdrawal, it is extremely distressful and should be conducted under medical care, where comfort medications can be provided to address the withdrawal symptoms and vitals can be monitored. The withdrawal experience is so devastating that it becomes the primary motivation for individuals to use. Whereas initially the opioids were used for pain relief and euphoria, eventually the body reaches a point where the purpose of using is solely to avoid withdrawal, which becomes a vicious cycle of needing more and more to maintain a baseline and avoid withdrawal.